What's up everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98 and today I'll be showing a glitch video in Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah, I'll be showing two glitches in this video on Mario Kart Double Dash. So yeah, let's get started. The first one involves having infinite balloons and this has to be done in Balloon Battle of course for both of these glitches to work. So yeah, I already chose Balloon Battle so I'm going to choose my characters and hang on, I'm going to cut to when I selected the characters. Alright, so I just selected all the characters, so now let's go to a course where this first one with infinite balloons is going to work. Yep, let's choose Pipe Plaza because this is the only place it'll work in. The next one, we can do it on any course. It doesn't have to be just Pipe Plaza. So basically what you want to do is... has to be a green shell, which, hold on, I'm gonna get one. Hi, I'm Daisy. There we go. So you want to drive one of your players over to the pipes. Okay. So you basically just gotta hit them. And what will happen is when they get hit, they won't lose the balloon. So we'll just try it for this one. Ow, 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 ow. See, it works like that. So now let's try it again with the other player, from the other player's perspective. Why the week time? Or why the week time? Oh, it missed. Try again. Hang on a second. Here we go. Yeah, sometimes a lot of people say the controls are really wonky in this game. They're so used to that Mario Kart 64 physics. Here, let's try it now. No! Oh! It works! So yeah, that's how you get infinite balloons in Balloon Battle. So yeah, let's get to the next glitch where we try out a fake item box after one of the players is eliminated from the game. So hang on, I'm gonna pause and we're gonna go into a stage that will, it'll work in all of them for sure. All right, so I just chose my characters. Now we're gonna go to another stage that can use a glitch with fake item boxes. Any of these will definitely work. Let's just do the GameCube stage because I know this will definitely work. So let's just go. All right, let's go. There we go. So what you want to do is, we'll try it on the player three this time. So I'm gonna to cut to when they have only one balloon left and we're gonna see if we can get this to work. All right, now I just got one of the players down to one balloon. And now what you want to do is make them slip on a banana while they're still in the fake well, in the item box spot, and they'll spin out, but the item box will keep going off, but you can still run into it despite it being used already. So let's try that in three, two, one. Well, three, two, one. Oh, it didn't work. Almost did, let's try again. All right, here we go for a second try. Hopefully it doesn't mess up this time. There we go. It's a Mario hunt. There we go. Only took one more attempt. Yeah, just took another attempt, but I did it. Look, now the item box is just going off, but I can still run into it despite the opponents being eliminated. Look. Look, it works like that. Yeah, it's really easy to do. Like I said, you can do this at any point. You don't even have to have everything unlocked at this point. So anyways, yeah. Oh. Anyways. Yummy. Anyways. Yeah. That was a really easy video, everyone, showing the glitches in battle mode in Mario Kart Double Dash. So anyways, yeah. That's going to be it for this video, everyone. 
stay tuned for another video coming possibly soon, and hopefully that'll have a lot of things to show. Hopefully you'll enjoy it coming up very soon. And it's going to be a gameplay video on something you may have missed before.